Let's talk about our returning players, because I'm very excited to have them here. When they said yes, it was a, it was a very fun day. Kelly Wentworth. I believe Wentworth is destined to win this game. I have since we first met her, and it's why we keep bringing her back. She's got all the skills, and it has not gone to her head. Every time she shows up, it seems as though she's been sharpening that knife for months, going, I'm ready to try again. Get me back in, coach. David is here because he represents this idea that I don't think I'd ever really seen before him, which is not am I capable of doing Survivor. It went deeper. Am I worthy? of doing Survivor, but he didn't give up. And he hung in there, and then you watch this thing bloom. I like him because I like when people see somebody and go, wow, you know, if he could do it, I could do it. And they mean it as a compliment. Aubrey's one of my favorite survivors ever, and I, I like how vulnerable she always is. I mean, she literally let us watch her cry in the shelter and contemplate if she was made for this game, and then she made it to the final three. She lasted 76 out of 78 days. Pretty impressive stat for playing twice. And Joe, I mean, he's, I don't know, maybe the first few days of his first season, he didn't have a target, but other than that, he's had a target on his back every day he's been out here. His tribes have won 15 or 16 challenges. He's won six himself. He went 29 days without being voted out. That's a legend. And the minute he was vulnerable, boom, they took him out. So. What they represent is four great players, four different styles of play, and a reminder, none of them have won. That's how hard Survivor is. And what you don't know is it's gonna be even harder this year.